CataractCoach.com. Three great cataract surgery secrets. These are going to make your surgery safer and more efficient. I bet you're going to love them. Three simple things in a very quick video. Here we go. Number one. First thing is, do you know you can actually move those cortical opacities out of the way? Look, I'll use the blunt cannula. That's just liquefied lens cortex. So you can move it and clear a path so when you make your rexes, you can see it. So again, this is before doing the capsule rexes. On top of the lens capsule, put your viscoelastic and use the cannula to gently brush away and move those cortical opacities away from the path of your axis. Yeah, you can clear this path for a view for capsule axis creation. This is the before and after. You can see it makes a difference. Now look at this. As we do the rexus now, it's going to be easy because the path for that five or five and a half millimeter capsule rexus is totally clear. So there's the diamond going in, making it about a 2.4 millimeter incision in this case, using a 2.0 diamond. Here come my forceps, measuring out, there's the path. So five millimeter rexus, start that rexus, and here we go. Nice and easy. Measure again just to be sure, and we'll complete a beautiful five millimeter rexus, and you can visualize it right there through that area of cortical spoking because you've moved those opacities. So here it is, end of the case, look at that. Beautiful looking five millimeter rexus. You know you love it. All right, let's get on to secret number two. Now, watch the case here. We're gonna chop it, but look what I do. When I chop this nucleus in half, here's like a little combo chop, I'll use the chopper in the left hand to pull one half to the side to create a bigger gap. Look, the left hand pulls that piece to the side, makes a bigger gap, holds it out of the way, and now I can bring the first half up out of the bag. So yes, after you chop it, use the chopper to pull one hemineucleus to the side to create more room. You get a gap here, now it allows you to bring the other half up and aspirate. So let me show you again. Here's the rest of the chop day case. It's easy now. We've got the video here at two times normal speed. I, I did not have coffee before operating, don't worry. So now going inside here, buzzing the other half. Look at that, a little horizontal chop. Psh, done, make it short work of that nucleus. Use this secret. It's going to make your chop technique easier. Just do the two halves in the bag and bring one half up. The third pearl, when you have a big, thick epinuclear plate there, epinuclear shell, what do you want to do? Watch this. You want to flip it over. You want to get that last piece of the nucleus out. There's the last piece of the cataract nucleus. Now you've got an epinuclear shell that's remaining. And look what we do here. Grab the edge with vacuum only. No energy. Vacuum, vacuum, only vacuum. As soon as you grab it, use the chopper to help you. Look at that. Pull with the Faco Pro, push with the chopper, and flip that whole epinuclear upside down. Look, 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 look. There it is. Now it comes out so easy. So definitely use your instruments to flip the epinuclear shell upside down. So flipping up that epinuclear shell is going to make it easy to safely aspirate. It's also very efficient and it protects your posterior capsule. And again, here at the end of the case, cleaned up pretty nicely. Now, I hope you've enjoyed these three secrets. These are things that are not often talked about, but if you watch carefully, a very experienced surgeon will do them very naturally, very instinctively. And that's what we want to do for you. We want to teach you all the secrets. Remember, as long as Cataract Coach is alive, as long as I'm alive, I will teach you every secret for anterior segment surgery that I know. And if you're smart and you like posterior segment surgery, you can check out retinarounds.com and retinarounds will teach you all the secrets of posterior segment surgery as well. We're going to democratize surgical education.